Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're on Crate. The hell yeah, 4.5 neck brace. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we get into the 4.5 from the folks over at Liat, before we do that, subscribe to the channel. You know I was gonna ask, just do it. That way you're up to date, educated, making fantastic buying decisions because we've stuffed more information into that brain of yours and giving you the first look at the newest gear coming into the two wheel space. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedaddicts.com, you could do so by simply shopping with us. There'll be a link there. They'll take you over to the full selection of Liat gear, including the neck braces we're gonna talk about today. And we stock all of it. Liat's got helmets, their armor, boots, apparel, and coming soon, adventure gear. They got a little bit of something for everyone. Check it out at speedaddicts.com. If you're not familiar with Liat, they were the OGs in the neck brace game when it comes to motocross riding. So Dr. Liat from South Africa witnessed a severe spinal injury at the track when he was there with his son and decided he was going to try to uh, solve that problem or solve it the best he could, reduce the chance of the injury. Now Liat claims an 89% reduction in spine injuries in accidents where their neck brace is being worn properly. That is their claim, not ours. My disclaimer, I'm just re hashing that information to you. So if you're interested in neck brace, Liat was one of the first on the scene and has evolved their lineup over a number of years. They have about four models out at the moment and some of them are here on this table. This is the 5.5. We're gonna talk about the 4.5 today. We also have videos on the 3.5, the 5.5 and the carbon fiber 6.5. So this is their second tier, I guess. 3.5 is the entry level. Now we're on to level two. Just so you can see them side by side here. 229, 319, so about a hundred dollar difference. What are you getting for your hard earned hundred bucks? Well, you'll notice that one of them has kind of a, a foil or floating chest pad here, whereas this one's a little bit more bulky and just a big molded chunk. And then on the rear, same idea, just a little bit more of an elegant design and more adjustability. Slightly lighter weight. Otherwise, it's serving the same purpose. And what a neck brace does is it provides a platform up on your shoulders to make contact with your helmet should your neck turn during an accident and it's gonna reduce that range of motion, hopefully uh, prevent a, a neck or a spinal injury. That's the whole logic here. The 4.5 also has ventilation up here in the back that the 3.5 does it. So more elegant design, more adjustability. We're gonna run down that real quick. CE certified, which is great for the Liat neck braces, size range small through two extra large. U sizes are also available. <clears throat> Independently lab tested and certified. Folks at Liat take your safety very seriously and this is kind of what they do, right? There are other brands that also make neck braces, but protection is the core competency over at Liat. Remember, when it comes to fit, there are several sizes. Go by the sizing chart if you have any sort of fitment issues. Remember, shop for your gear at Speed Addicts and get no cost returns. That's right, we're not gonna nickel and dime you on that return shipping label should it not fit, or you just decide it's not for you. We're gonna give that to you for free. Get it back, get a different color, get a different size, get your money back. We'll treat you like family. Just make sure the gear is brand new in the original condition and you live in the lower 48 states to participate. So like I said before, 89% reduction in cervical spinal injuries according to Liat. So that's the reason you're reaching for one of these. You're not doing it because it's more comfortable to ride with one or <laughs> that you want full range of motion when you're moving your head around. These are the things you're giving up, okay? It's less comfortable to have one of these on, period, even though they are ergonomically designed and light, and then your range of motion with your head is going to be reduced, because that is the whole point. So, if you're riding enduro, you're looking up hills and stuff, expect a little bit more limited range of motion. The construction is a polymer matrix platform, and uh, as you move up in the range, you can even get a carbon fiber one, that's the 6.5. How does this open? Well. The 4.5 actually has my least favorite release here. It's hidden underneath, see that red button? And what I've noticed with this one is that it just takes a lot of force to find its happy fit place. So you really gotta push it in 
which is a little bit awkward when it's up here on your neck. Other than that, it's fine. The 3.5 is a little more straightforward. It's got kind of this dagger design. We've had no issues with that one. And then when you move up to the 5.5, you're gonna notice that it actually opens on the side. And this button has worked great for us, no issues here. And it's kind of got this tongue and groove situation. So it opens from the side, you're gonna snap that into place. So my least favorite thing about the 4.5 is the button release. Otherwise, you know, I have nice ergonomic molded foam, that improved uh, chest pad here. And you notice they have a relief, so it gets a little bit of distance and allows your some cooling to go on here. Stout shoulder pads, and then they do have some padding in that collarbone space, but you notice they're pointed away from your body to make room. You don't wanna make contact if you don't have to with the collarbone. In the back, you do have some adjustment in terms of the angle. You'll get different size shims here. It's hard to see, this one says five degrees. So if you want it to come in, you can have more of an angle or if you want it to go out at five degrees, that's what the factory setting is. Careful, safety third. Okay, otherwise, when this is gonna go in your gear bag, you can fold it in. There it is. You don't have extra room. So if you need it to be bigger or smaller overall, you're gonna need to buy a different size because this thoracic strut here does not move in and out. When you move up to the 5.5, five, you do get a adjustment in that direction. So you can slide this whole panel in and out. Same up here on the front. So that's what you're paying for when you step up to the 5.5 and 6.5 is even more adjustment. But in terms of price, right over $300, it's definitely a step up from the 3.5. But my advice, if you're going to go for it, just get the 4.5. Uh, sorry, get the 5.5 or the 3.5. This one's kind of in no man's land, in my opinion. I, if I'm gonna spend 300, I'm gonna spend a little bit extra and get the fully adjustable one because, again, having the neck brace on, if you're not used to it especially, is going to be something that's new for you, and it's just nice to have the full adjustability, have it ride right where you want it to ride. In terms of securing it, you do have two options. You have the brace-on technology from Liat. That's this little fin that's part of the shoulder pad that will attach to any Liat body protection chest protection that's been made recently. They all have it. It's basically an elastic band that goes on here and keeps the chest protector one with your body. If you're not gonna run that, then that's going to include some of their straps, one on either side and connect to that little loop. And then there's a matching loop here on the back. And that strap goes underneath your arm to hold the neck brace down to your body. When you're fitting these, make sure you follow the instructions from Liat to make sure it does its job the best that it can for you. One year warranty from those folks. That's it for today. Still have questions, talk to our rider support team. They're available over the phone, email, and live chat. Otherwise, we'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.